Hello YouTube. Today we're going to work on my Logitech wireless mouse. It is the model M310. Um, it's an older model. Um, it's operated by a single AA battery. This is the Bluetooth receiver that came with it. I have since got another one that will work for this and for my wireless keyboard. So I'll just put that there so I can keep that with the battery side. What my issue is here is this on and off switch is really getting sticky and I think it needs to be cleaned. Pretty sure the whole mouse needs to be cleaned. Now I see two screws up here, the small Phillips it looks like. There might be some underneath these. I'm not sure if, or if these come up or not. No, no, that's just flat surface I think. Let me see here. Now I don't think those are like are they? I'm not sure. Am I getting this on camera, I hope? Yeah. I need to go over here a little bit more though to show you better. I'm hoping this is coming in focus okay. Let me put a little bit more light over here. Let's see if this helps. Yeah, that definitely helps. Yeah, I can see a little better here. Okay. Hopefully this won't take too long. So I'll have to splice the video because my camera only records about 12 and a half minute segments at a time. Which it'll it'll record after that, but it'll it'll automatically segment them. Segment the video clips in the 12 and a half minute sections. It's the way the Canon T5i works. Okay. Not sure if I can pull that apart or not. Yet. Oh, there it comes. Part of it anyway. Let's see. There we go. Okay. That's interesting. Set that aside. Let's see what we got going here. Okay, this is where the switch lies underneath here. And in order to get that, I have to pull up this panel. That's my optical sensor too. That might need also cleaned. So I'll go ahead. And pull this up and then don't ever pull these ribbon cables by the cable pull it up by the switch or the little plug thing rather if I can figure out how to get it out of there let's see Oh, I think I'm got it. And that piece is wet in the floor, but thankfully I saw it. All right. That just meant to secure that. Boy, there's a lot of little pieces in here. Now let's see if I can lift this up. Okay, that just comes out now. That just sits like that and that just secures it when it's in there. Okay, I understand now. Okay, let's see how that works. Now that's off the optical sensor. I doubt that needs to be cleaned. It was pretty secure, so I'll just push that out of the way a little bit. Undo the Do the uh, circuit board screw here. I don't see any others. This is this one. Where are the other ones? There's got to be another one, huh? No. Cool. 
Huh. And this comes out with it, I think. Oh, something's attaching it. I wonder what is holding it. Does this come? Oh, Ooh, there we go. I think I pushed. I push on the board like that, and then that comes a little loose. There we go. And it looks like. Okay. Ooh. This is kind of delicate. Wow. That's going to be interesting getting that back in there. But there is the contact point right there. It looks like I need to clean. Yeah. I think I was going to use electric contact lubricant, but I think it's just a little. Um, I hope I remember how to put that in. It looks like I think it's green that way. Yeah. All right, so it's it's switching like this. Oop. Yeah, there's the tab there. And it's just on one side, so there's no way you can get it wrong, hopefully. Yeah, there's the tab. Spray it with a little bit of contact spray because it slides over that. I'm gonna get Q-tip ready. Push that out of the way. Right over there. And just spray. I'm gonna do a test spray here real quick. Ooh. See, sprays just a little bit too much for that, so I could suck some of that up. Okay, now I need a switch again so I can move. Well, I might be able to move it without it. Let's see. Yep, I can move it without it. Let's get in there a little bit more. Push it back up and forth. I think I'm gonna do another another test there. Just a little bit on there. And use it and the switch itself. This little tiny switch it's on the side. See it? The little black switch I'm pushing back and forth. That's what turns the mouse on and off. Look a little bit dirty. All right, blot that a little bit here. All right, there you have it. I believe that's clean enough. Now I'm gonna clean the optical sensor, which is right here. You see it right here? Let's see if I can pull that out. Oh, I'm a different. I need my flathead screwed over so I can pull it out. Or it might not left out. Let's try it 
little gentle pressure. Let me get my flashlight here. Looks like there's catches to keep that in place too. And those are kind of small. So I think I can access the yeah, that's pretty dirty in there. <sighs> pretty dirty. That's part of the problem, I believe. I cleaned my optical sensor. That probably was the majority of the problem, but I want to check the contact for the on-off switch to make sure that wasn't part of the issue either. So I'm going to Use isopropyl alcohol, 50%. You don't need anything stronger than that. To clean that. So I'm just going to open this up. See what time we're at here. And we got a minute left. Until it breaks up. So might have to do a part two here. Dirty, yeah. Oh boy, that was dirty. Now we got a little canned air here. See how that looks out of the flashlight here. And that looks a lot cleaner. Yeah. Alright. I think we're done here. We're gonna have to split off for part two. Alright, I'm going to cut it from there. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Okay, here's part two of the reconditioning, if I can get this to focus, of my Logitech, uh, what is it, M310 mouse. Let's see if I can get that. Focus here. There we go. Got it. Okay. Flip it back over, and there's my computer. See if I can focus that. What the You can do it. Uh, there we go. Okay. You see the mouse. You can see my computer. There's a cable. HDMI cable. It goes up to my monitor there. And right, if you look right at the zebra, or the zebra, the uh, giraffe's nose there, you can see my pointer. And I can left click on it, it will bring up my name to put in my password, and it works great now. Works great. Alright, thanks for watching.